Hey guys, welcome to Musketeer. This is the fourth episode in the series Artificial Intelligence. In this episode, we will discuss about the various uses of AI in different fields. In later episodes, we will talk about the various methods using which these applications were achieved. Before we dig deep into the applications of AI, try to guess which of these people are convicted criminals. Mark your answers in the poll or in the comments below. Most of you might have been surprised with the question itself, but let me tell you something more surprising. Our facial features change over time based on the success that we achieve in life, our confidence levels, our generosity, and also our criminality. AI models were given 1800 different faces and they have identified the patterns using which you can identify if a person is a criminal or not. They can do this with an accuracy of 86% to 95% depending on the model that was used to build them. You heard me right. Just a postal size stamp portrait photo can tell if someone is a criminal or not with about 90% accuracy. Imagine if every CCTV in the world is equipped with such models. The police can find the convicted criminals very easily. However, also consider the ethical implications of such technology, especially if they go wrong. Now, let's go into the various fields that use AI and how they use them. The first industry is music and movies. Currently, services like Spotify and Netflix recognize patterns based on your likes, dislikes, and repeating a song or watching a movie once over again. Based on these patterns, these services can recommend a highly curated movie or music for you. Another example is again from Netflix. Netflix observes where users are pausing in a movie or quitting a movie, repeating a particular scene or forwarding to the next scene. Based on these, it can identify the patterns, what kind of things people like in movies. And using these patterns, they are creating scripts and making Netflix original movies and TV series. And these are sure to be hits. Another example of AI used in the music industry is song recognition. You're probably using Shazam or Google Assistant to identify several songs that you might not know. The second industry that we are looking at AI applications is self-driving cars. Tesla collects millions of miles of data every day from its fleet. Things like how the cars are driven, where the autopilot is being overtaken, and how human drivers handle various situations. Then they run this data through several iterations of neural networks and build a better model of autopilot which improves with every iteration. Similarly, Waymo runs billions of miles of simulation on their AI models to make a better autonomous car. Another thing that you can notice in Google Maps is that it can automatically identify if a road is closed or not. Most of this data comes from GPS location of anonymized users and also from various other sources like Waze. The next application is face and voice recognition. AI models have learned how to recognize faces and also how to identify voices. Facebook, Instagram, and other services use these to tag people. Another application of this is Animojis on iPhone, the dynamic filters on Snapchat. YouTube automatically generates closed captions based on the voice in the video. The next major application is advertisements. Patterns like likes, dislikes, impressions all create a better model so that these services can target well curated ads towards people. These ads have very high conversion rate compared to traditional methods. Another life-saving application of AI is suicide prevention. Facebook can actually track people's behavior on its website and determine if they are suicidal. And if the user accepts, they will send professional help. The next application is Amazon. Amazon recognizes all the patterns that you use on their website. What you buy, what you don't, and what you just look for and not buy. Based on these, Amazon curates very specific and targeted recommendations for you so that you are more likely to buy the product. Though Amazon does not sell how much their sales improve based on these recommendations, 
Various studies show that it is between 10% to 30% increase in sales, which is huge. Airlines use this kind of data to price a ticket higher or lower just for you. The next application of AI is investing. Quid IQ was given a challenge to identify 50 companies that would change the world. At the time of investing, they were unheard of. This model picked up 50 companies of which 10 became a billion dollar company each. Only one fund so far in history has beaten this record. That was during the early 2000.com bubble. In an earlier episode, we have looked at how Wall Street uses AI. Just a quick recap. High frequency trading in Wall Street makes nanosecond decisions and microsecond trading. This is so significant nowadays that 90% of stock market trading is made by these high frequency trading algorithms. Another excellent application of AI is in medicine. Using millions of retinal scans, AI learned how the retina of a person who has either cardiovascular disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, or several other ailments. Once developed, these models are so small that they can be loaded onto a handheld device and can be shipped across the world. Over time, their prices will drop and will improve healthcare for everyone all over the world. Google this year announced that they are developing a service which can predict if you are going to be hospitalized in the next 24 to 48 hours. This can save several lives. Imagine a person who is about to get a stroke goes into the hospital and tells the doctor that he is going to get a stroke. Prevention is always better than cure. Tissue, x-ray and MRI scanners can identify cancers tumors and fractures. The AI models are as good as doctors. Better in those cases where the doctors have a biased opinion when the patient is very critical. There is one radiologist for every 12,500 people in the world. So we have a crisis. AI can help us here. The next application is sales and service industry. Consider if you have a business and AI can recognize the behavioral patterns of the customers and can tell you in advance that this customer might be quitting your service soon. You can direct your resources towards that customer and make them stay longer on your product. Chatbots are already being used to process natural language and assist customers in the customer service departments. The next application is voice generation. We have seen a glimpse of Google's duplex and WaveNet this year. This AI can generate voices that sound just like us. Once released, in combination with natural language processing, it can do almost every conversation. For example, making a reservation, updating Google Maps for store timings during holiday seasons. Can you think of some other examples in voice generation? Leave a comment down below. The next application is fraud and credit. Supervised learning models can detect fraud within 40 milliseconds. Apart from relying on credit agencies, Banks are relying more and more on AI models that can generate the credit worthiness of a customer just based on the transactions that they do with the bank. The next major application is a spam filter. Everyone is bombarded with spam emails. Email services like Google and Yahoo used to have very highly skilled professionals just to make spam filters. But nowadays, AI can do it much better. It can also recognize patterns even if the subject and the description in the email and the sender are changed. The next applications are in education. Schools can detect if a student is likely to drop out and can allocate more resources so that they can successfully graduate. Based on individual student abilities, courses can be created just for them. Another application is detecting plagiarism. Regular brute force methods are likely to consume a lot of resources and also sometimes miss subtle variations. The next major example are from data center power consumption and grid management for utilities. When Google employed its DeepMind AI to reduce power consumption in its data centers, it recognized the patterns and reduced the consumption by 40%. With this success, Google is trying to develop models that can help power plants, manufacturing industry, and also water management. And finally, as you already might know, that weather prediction 
need supercomputers. AI models can predict weather better. This can save several lives and property damage. Those are several examples that AI can be used in various industries. Which of these uses of AI did you find surprising? Did I miss anything that is very significant? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. In upcoming episodes, I will discuss about subtle nuances of AI such as convolutional neural networks, deep learning, unsupervised learning, the jobs that AI is likely to replace and what are the solutions for them. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.